Do you love yourself? Truly, fully, unconditionally love yourself. I want to show you an unexpected way to love yourself even deeper. And it starts with discipline. We see the word discipline as a shameful word. Your child does something that they shouldn't. You discipline them. Your dog poops on the floor. You discipline it. But self-discipline should never be seen as a bad thing. The core of self-discipline is self-love. Because we don't usually use self-discipline to do the things that are bad for us. We use self-discipline to do the things that we know that we should do. Self-love is not eating that delicious pizza because you deserve it. Self-love is the discipline to say no to the pizza and eat the salad and vegetables because they're better for your body. Self-love is not hitting the snooze button and staying in our warm and comfortable beds. Self-love is the discipline to take action and get up when we set our alarms because we know that if we have an amazing morning, we'll have a much better day. Self-love is not taking it easy because we've had a long day. Self-love is the discipline to force yourself to go to the gym because number one, we know that working out is good for our bodies and our minds. And number two, we made a promise to ourselves that we would do it. This doesn't have to just be physical activities either. Self-love can be having the discipline to sit quietly and meditate because we know that meditation will make us more calm and gentle to those that are around us, that it will make us a better person or spouse or parent. Self-love is self-discipline. We should enjoy our lives, have a little pizza here and there, but don't make it an every day or every meal type of thing because that's not self-love. That's the exact opposite of self-love. And not having self-discipline will hinder us from growing and becoming our best selves. We all want to be the best version of ourselves. We want to grow into that person that we feel in our hearts that we can be, the one that we see in our dreams. And when we're progressing, we feel better about ourselves. We hold our heads higher. We walk with more confidence. We start to see how much closer we are to becoming that person that we want to be. And that is the ultimate fulfillment. And the better that we become, the better that we can serve the ones around us in this world for good. So the key to self-love is not to try to search for it externally, not to try to find it in other people or to find it in things. Self-love is internal. And the key to self-love is through self-discipline. So. Let me ask you this question. How are you going to love yourself more deeply today? Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you loved it, please do me a favor, hit that share button down below so that more people can see videos like this. And I have a question for you and I want you to put down in the comments because I'm curious. What is something that you need to do to love yourself more? Where can self-discipline come into your life more. Go ahead and put it down in the comments and I'll talk to you guys there.